This poem I wrote is called Sonnet to the East Rockaway Public Mooring. And the public mooring was a place when I was in high school, our lover's lane overlooking the water. And it's where we went with our cars and parked with our special girlfriends and found out about the young love and passion song. In my younger years of high school and my youth, always seeking a more pure and innocent truth, as I think back to many a glorious day of my magical hometown called East Rockaway. Yes, those memories of gold in my season's time, I cannot put them all into verses and rhyme. Yet, of all those moments of magic, one is so enticing and alluring, parking with my special girl at that sacred public mooring. Ah, yes, innocence of youth with such pulsating excitement, a teenage boy with his girl and such uncontrollable excitement. First a movie at the Criterion Theater and a kiss in the back row, then a ride down Compton Street and away we would go. Driving around that Marjorie Lane bend with that curving road, so excited with anticipation, I would almost uncontrollably explode. That fire of my early youth was a precious and special thing, with rockets bursting pure fire of lust and raging hormones with zing. How delicious, how nutritious those early memories are, where we would sit together and talk excitedly and wish upon a star. But not much time was spent talking, and then that clothing flew, you wanting me so bad and me desperately wanting you. The intense fire of our youth desire erased our senses of any shame, watching out for those cop car headlights not to interrupt our mating game. The unbuckling of that clip on her strap, so challenging at times to do, and finally getting much loving needed help from those wonderful hands of you. Yes, gazing over that water by the park was a magical time of life. For many, what started out as a parking spot led to finding an unexpected wife. And who knows how many reading these words right now that you know were conceived in those magical parking spots so very long ago. I want to thank those cops who knew this was not moral corruption, and they let biology take its course without fourth precinct interruption. Yes, those times were magical moments of my life, and forevermore will be in the beautiful book of who I am, in this man Mike's vivid memory. I will not write this poem with more details, as by the moderator it may be deleted. I will leave it to your imagination to make those memories of youthful passion completed. So as you remember these words of mine from a very long time ago and so dear, remember there are still plenty of good times left in us, my old friends, and have a happy and wonderful new year.